was it? Ugh. Okay, we're back. Hi, everybody! Hello, 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 hello. Hello. I got a anyway. fire bandit shotgun. That's pretty nice. I am the fire bandit. Yes, internet dating. Internet dating. It's like, I don't like it because it's, it's like. Like, uh, okay, Cupid's got a pretty good matching algorithm. It's just, like I said, it's getting them to respond to you. And, like, it's it's also, it's got to be hard for women, because I know they get, like, 60 messages a day. And, like, uh, and, no. and as a, at least, like, an attractive female gets, like, hundreds of messages all the time. And, like, as a guy, that makes it hard for me, because, like, my message just gets buried. Well, yeah. And plus, if you ain't so, got like, the six-pack abs and fucking 20-inch biceps, yeah. they're not gonna fucking care about you. Yeah. And, like, you know, I don't have a chance to make that individual laugh or, you know, like, see that I'm just absolutely gorgeous on the inside where it doesn't matter. If, you know, they don't open my message because, you know, my profile isn't some dude with fucking rock hard abs. And like, even like, I, I fully plan on getting in shape after I fucking can lift my arms again. I fully plan on getting in shape and I want to start lifting weights and realistically, I want to get to look like that because I don't like how I look right now. And even then, I still wouldn't post those pictures. Like... How come? I don't know, I just... I don't, I don't like being labeled as one of those guys because, like, most of the time, the guys who post those pictures are, like, stupid douchebags. Oh, uh, yeah, I can... I can believe that. It's like... Dude, just... Uh, hey, go get the packages. I get got them. it. Don't get any there's, it's like, Continue you know, talking. There's, there's a stereotype behind the people who post those images. and I don't want to be a bro. I don't play Call of Duty. Eh, yeah, that's true. None of us do. Justin actually does. But Justin is kind of like one of those bros. Justin's Except a pretty boy. Justin, kind if you're of. listening to this, you're a pretty boy. Hi, dude. You're a bro. Okay, yeah, he kind of is. I bet you you wear uh, tap-out stuff in your spare time, too, don't you, buddy? You that he does tap-out and drink monster. He does wear a lot of tight, tight shirts, though. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, his shirt... I'm like... Like, one of these days, I'm going to be like, dude, I'm going to take you shopping to get you clothes that fit. <laughs> well, I, I wear tight dress shirts, but that's because I'm so fucking skinny. Well, yeah. And I like having my clothes fit. Now, when you say tight, do you mean, like, they're... Like, I could... They fit I his could... form, or you can't put a pencil in between his shirt and his chest? Uh, more than... More than the first, not as bad as the second. So, how did I get here before you? We got here at pretty much the same time. <laughs> <Good boss. laughs> uh, well, I, I don't know. At the same time, though, like, it's really the only way I have to meet people or meet women because I don't have any, like, all my friends here were in the military. I'm in the military. And I'm the last of my group of friends. And, like, the people I work with, I, they're realistically, like, not the hey, type of people here. I like to hang out with. Rude. Okay, go ahead. Go. I was changing the mission. Don't be a dick. Uh. They're not the type of people you realistically want to hang out with? Yeah, like, you know, like, I like the people I work with. But, you know, like, the people I work with, you know, they, they drink a lot. And I don't mean, like, you know, like, I, to me, I don't drink that frequently. So, like, when someone says, like, oh, I'm going to go home and have a beer after work, to me, that's a lot. But, uh... like, I'm talking, like, every weekend, like, plastered. And, like, when they have parties, like, people are hooking up with each other and, like... Like, people are making out with strangers, and it's like, I I don't do that. <laughs> no. Like, I'm not, I was never really the party goer either, but, yeah. 
I ain't about that lifestyle. I ain't about that thug life, yo. Well, I just don't do the party life, and that's a lot of the people I work with. The party life. And even the ones that, like, I would like to, like, hang out with, they're also the party type. So it's just like, I don't, I don't want to. Oh, Either that or they're like 35 and they've got a couple kids and they're just never, never available. Yeah, like my one of my best friends here. Actually, I can say my best friend here, he's 35. But like we don't ever get to do anything because he's got three kids and a wife who's kind of controlling. Actually, super controlling. So it's like, like, it's to the point where we tease him at work. Like, hey, you want to come to lunch with him? Oh, I got to call my wife. Oh, you got to ask mom if you can come out and play? Yeah, really? To go to lunch? Like, yeah. Like, I gotta, I gotta see if it's okay if I, if, if I have the money or if like I can go out with you guys. How the fuck did I get here? Gosh, gosh. Yeah. Doc Mercy's not fighting back. Generally, hospital. That's what his shield says. I don't know if you knew that. Generally, hospital. Yes, generally hospital. Why is that gun so great when it. he uses when he uses it but not so great when we use it? Right? Why any more wounds to practice out? Yeah, why does everybody have a southern accent down here? His reasons. I keep that. Keep this. I'm gonna try this gun. I got a new bandit shotgun that has fire on it, and it's. Uh, you gotta use the new gun, don't you? Ah, oh, fuck, shit. God damn it. Everybody I also got gun. a new uh. I got a doll fire. Uh, SMG, which is pretty legit. I don't want to use it! I hate this fucking gun. It's round and it can't wear pants. <laughs> I'm glad we kept that part. I found class mods. For who? For you? Oh, There's sweet. two for sale. Uh, one's for sale? Magazine. Where are you at? I found an anarchy class mod. Do you want it? You want it? Yeah. Pick it up for me. Yep. Uh, I'll be right over there. <clears throat> DT and I just kind of cleaned up over here. Since you Why left are you us. DT? Because you I ran out of stupid ammo. Stupid gun. I ran out of the bullets for the stupid gun. I only gun have 18 of... shots. <laughs> what? I only have 18 shots with this assault rifle. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know, it's a mission required weapon. Hey, did you know you have a mission required weapon? Ugh, I hate that fucking notification. Hey! Dago, Dago, woo! Red light. Hey there, friendo. Boop. Hey. Get in, get, in, get in the car. I'm working on it. I'm working I'm getting in. Yeah, so... Scooch. Oh, fuck. Now, if your cousin would about? ever fucking call me, I wouldn't have to worry about online dating or going up. <laughs> Dude, you don't even live in the same state as her. I could change that. I knew it. Move to Chicago. I have her move down here. <laughs> She's not going to move down there. I know. I'm not worth it. <laughs> she... She enjoys her uh, peers that have teeth. Whoa, now. I have all my teeth. You're from St. Louis, though. So? Which means that you don't have teeth. You have a gold grill, obviously. <laughs> ah, it's platinum, stupid. I have class. I think you go for platinum. You're from St. Louis. That's why. I sell all the drugs. All of the drugs, all the time. You know, I had a supervisor once. He, uh... He was what we call a wigger. He was a, oh, uh... A very thug white boy. He was a really? wug. I like wug. 
was very non-threatening. He was a wug, and uh, I used to work with him, and when he found out I was from St. Louis, he's like, oh, you from St. Louis? Like, yeah, man. He's like, oh, you from Nellyville? He's like, don't you ever fucking say that in my presence. Ever. Nellyville? Yeah, because, you know, Nelly's from St. Louis. I did not oh, know that. From... Yeah, Nelly's from St. Louis. I'll trade you. We'll take know. Nelly. You could take uh, Kanye. We're also uh, Cedric the Entertainer and uh, some other people. Uh, Anyways, I uh, like Cedric the Entertainer. I do, too. Uh, not so much Nelly, but you know, Patrick's good. Nelly's but not yeah, too much of like, a douchebag, though. It's like, he's like, you are you from Nellyville? It's like, don't you ever fucking say that around me ever again. I will set you on fire. <laughs> it's not a threat unless somebody is to be put on fire. Consume. Not a threat. I will. I will literally set your house on fire. I will set you, you and your ablaze. children. Well, I'm very. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm not afraid to about... kill another person. No, I'm we not can talk about you. To stalk and kill another family. No, have you been using the the gun? Stalking and killing? No. No, the gun that we have. I ran out of ammo. I have to go uh, in here and buy more. Okay, and while you're doing that, we're gonna end this episode. No. That's all, that's all the time we have. Don't do it, Daddy. Ugh, I hate that word. Anyway. We'll see you guys in the next episode. How's your daddy? That's fine, because I will be that well, that girl's father. But not... No. Not. What if she calls her you mother daddy says, when she's like 32? Because I think that's weird. When par when kids call their parents daddy at like past seven. Actually, not but, like in their teens, you need to stop calling your father daddy. And we can talk about that in the next episode, can't we? No! Too late. Bye, everybody.